Hey everybody, Ed Holmwood with another video. This one's kind of interesting and I'm hoping you guys enjoy it. What I'm going to do today is show you how to get rear channel surround sound from a two channel stereo amplifier and you can do it for free and believe me, it works very well. Now, in my room, way back when, when we built the house, this was a home theater. So I have in-wall speakers in the back and I've wired them up in such a way that I can recover ambient sound actual out of phase the difference between the left channel and the right channel and it gives you a huge sound stage but there's no electronics needed there's nothing needed other than how you wire those speakers up so give me a minute to get set and we'll go from there so i apologize for any inconsistencies in lighting i was getting some glare off this diagram i'm going to draw for you now what this is called is the Hafler circuit after david Hafler, and Hafler was an excellent uh, audio engineer. I mean, he did a lot of things. Obviously, he had the Hafler company. And when I was in retail audio, we used to sell Hafler uh, equipment. They made some great amplifiers. He also went on and developed a lot of other products uh, and was instrumental in uh, kind of the foundations of what later became all the surround sound schemes you've ever heard of. So the Hafler circuit is very simple. What we're going to do is, these are our rear speakers back here, and they can be really anything. They don't have to be big. They don't have to be full range, and I require no amplification. And you see, I've got my main speakers wired up in a conventional manner. What I'm going to do to complete the Hafler circuit is we're going to come from the positive of the amplifier to the positive of the speaker on both sides. And then what we're going to do is, no kidding, we're going to just connect the grounds together and that will give you uh, an ambient retrieval circuit. Now, this was also part of the basis of Dynaquads that used to see back in the 70s when quad was kind of becoming a thing. Marantz, Pioneer, uh, Sansui, they all had a kind of pseudo quad wiring or you know option on their amplifiers and basically what it was was this. Now, they were doing it at a line level, and they could add, um, you know, volume control or level control. And you can as well. And I will publish in the link for this video a uh, link to bring you out to the Wikipedia page talking about the Hafler circuit. And also a diagram of how to wire it up uh, with a little volume pot, uh, a little 5K pot. that, And I actually have that in my system. It helps me control the level a little bit. But with this, you can do it real simply just by aiming your speakers away from your ears, you know, aim them into the wall, you know, tilt them down toward the carpet. You can, you can attenuate them in a number, put a thick towel over them. You can attenuate them in a number of ways. But this will give you an incredible sound stage. I mean, it does, it literally wraps around your head. Um, and it does it with a super high signal noise ratio. It's no load on your amplifier at all, because what you're seeing is the series resistance of whatever those rear speakers are. So if they're eight ohm, the worst the amplifier is going to see is 16 ohms, which is nothing. So the amps can handle it. Any amplifier can handle it. Even small little Class D amplifiers, uh, all the way up to, you know, I use a Cambridge AXR100 receiver for my main amplification. So this Hafler circuit is really cool. The sound is great. And I'm going to set up and show you uh, actually how to physically wire it up on the back of one of my old vintage Marantz pieces. Okay, here we are around the back of the amplifier. Now, let's assume that on the A set of speaker selector, I have my main speakers wired up conventionally. And I have a B set of speakers, which then I can turn them on and off by selecting B. I can run them all at the same time to get the full surround sound effect. And again, the wiring scheme puts virtually zero load on your amplifier. Now, if you don't have a B set of speakers, you can still wire into your existing main terminals in this same fashion. Um, and again, it just uh, there doesn't really add any load to the amplifier. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug in our positive cables. And let's assume that these ends of the wire are connected out to my speakers in a normal fashion, positive to positive, ground to ground on the other pair of speakers. Then back here, literally all I need to do is twist the grounds together so that I just have the positives connected. And this is the Hafler circuit. This is what will give me that rear 
channel, that ambient retrieval, it's out of phase information. It's really cool. It's not stereo, just so you know that, but it is because it's out of phase. It's not, you can't identify the sound source really. So again, these are connected to your speakers in a normal fashion, positive to positive, negative to negative, positive to the amps, and just twist the negatives together. And that will give you that half or surround sound. And then again, you can turn it on and off by selecting a speaker just, and that would be your main speakers. Turn on the B speakers and you'll get your surround or ambient retrieval. I hate to call it surround because it isn't truly surround, even though it's the basis of every surround sound scheme and quad that there ever was. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. There'll be some additional information uh, in the description and in the pinned comment, if I can figure out how to do that, because again, I'm a wonderful YouTube guy. So there'll be a, di a link to the Wikipedia page for the Halfler circuit. There'll also be a, a link to a actual page that shows you the wiring and how to build in a little project box a simple attenuation control. I don't want to call it a volume control because it just attenuates it slightly so that the, the rears are not overpowering and you don't really want to know they're there. You don't really want to sense that you can hear sound directly from them, but you will sense as the sound stage wraps around your head. It's pretty cool. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in uh, the comment section. If you try it out, let me know what you think of it. I'd, I'd be really curious to find out what you guys would think about this. It's a lot of fun. This is, again, something we started doing back in the early 70s um, when quad was becoming popular. Without having to replace all of your equipment, you could get sort of a quad sound uh, out of this wiring scheme. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so very much. Everybody have a great day.